What is up YouTube? This is a vault here back again today with you guys a new speed duel deck profile once again. And today's speed duel deck we're gonna be going through is as some of you may see from the thumbnail or read the title already, is the relinquished speed duel deck we have here. And relinquished is extremely, extremely powerful monster, so we just gotta make a speed duel deck out of it. And you know, it's a very competitive deck too, to be really, really strong. It can even go over a blue eyes white dragon deck sometimes. Or for the most part as well actually and as always before we go straight into our deck profile we always do our card sleeve review right here and today we got ourselves for you guys to do uh, for this card sleeve review we got a Yu-Gi-Oh Link Reigns the plain blue uh, holographic sleeves version 1 for you guys today so you guys probably seen uh, this kind of pattern or this type of sleeve for quite a few times already uh, throughout the channel but in different color and this one's blue and I believe um, the channel has done green and red already um, I'm not sure about red but maybe red will be coming out soon but we have blue here today really really nice really love the design overall you can see the link uh, hexagon patterns that they've been using for the branding for all the link series packs um, that they've been coming out with the link sets uh, if you guys any of you guys follow the main Yu-Gi-Oh uh, master rule uh, main box regular sets and yeah they've been doing a lot of this hexagon pattern uh, which looks really really cool really neat very simple and just really like that clean glossy uh, holographic feel you can just see from these sleeves as usual very nice rainbow holographic just that scatters around when you look at it from different angles and yeah I just chose blue for this one because it just fits relinquish very well uh, despite it being a ritual monster and I thought it just went well as long uh, with this whole deck overall so before we get straight into the deck, we always have our three uh, skill cards. We have three skill cards for um, this deck profile, uh, just so for you guys, and I will explain them one by one once again. So for those who really, really want to play based on Pegasus, since Pegasus is relinquished, um, relinquish is Pegasus, one of Ace Monsters, um, and for you guys who want to be like that character and play like that character, you can use uh, these are the two viable um, Pegasus skill cards you have. So the first one is Mind Scan. Scan, and at the start of the third turn, the real life points is 3,000 or higher. Activate this skill. Uh, you count both of your players' turns. Uh, you may look at your opponent's set spell and trap cards at any time. If your uh, life points drop below 3,000, flip this card over. So, you know, being able to see your opponent's uh, set traps or, and set cards are pretty, really, really good, useful in the game overall. And, um, yeah, very self-explanatory. Next one we're running is uh, up of another possible option is Millennium Eye. Uh, this one's not as good, personally, I feel like. But at the start of the duel, you can look at your opponent's hand. And you may choose to have them shuffle it back into their deck or draw a new hand. And, yeah. You, this can actually be kind of game changing sometimes uh, because some decks really really rely heavily on their starting hand and you can really turn the tides sometimes with this card but you know kind of more riskier than mind scan so if you want to play pegasus mind scan is more normally my personal way to go but both of them are optional depending on what you personally like so overall these two pegasus skill cards are just recommended just for the sake of playing pegasus but for really really um best skill card I personally think that really allows the really quench deck to flourish and become extremely powerful and with intense pressure and works really well with the whole deck recipe overall is actually Joey Wheeler's Last Gamble. And why is Last Gamble such a great card is because um, at the start of your fifth turn uh, you can activate the skill and you count um, both players turns yeah you don't have to act yeah you can choose it to activate any time after the fifth turn basically and during your main phase you can reduce your life points to 100 which is a huge payoff just so you guys know and discard two cards from your hand roll a six sided die and draw cards equal to the result this skill can only be used once per duel and yes this is a very high risk high reward type of card but um, being able to draw into the cards that you need and stalling into the fifth turn just works really well with the whole deck overall so i highly recommend uh, playing uh, Joey's card as well, but at the same time, if you don't like the huge risk type, Mind Scan is always a great choice for um, to be at the back as well. So um, let's quickly go into the monsters of this deck. So first of all, we are running three Relinquish, and this is obviously the main card of the deck that you must 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 run without a doubt the main boss monster and relinquish is extremely powerful so you need a ritual summon this card with black illusion ritual and once per turn you can target one uh, monster your opponent controls and you basically equip that monster into relinquish uh so you put your opponent's um monster uh into your own spell and trap card zone 
as, a, as if it's your own equip spell or something like that. And he basically gains the attack and defense equal to that equipped monsters. And if this card would be destroyed by battle, you can basically just destroy that uh, equipped monster instead. And while, with, uh, while equipped with that monster, any battle damage you take um, involving this card inflicts uh, equal effect damage to your opponent. So basically what that means is as long as there's an equipped monster equipped to relinquish, any battle damage that you would have take involving battles, uh, your opponent takes it as well, which is extremely powerful and creates incre incredibly huge pressure. And you know, having relinquish itself just on the board and stealing a monster from your opponent just creates a huge advantage overall for you straight off the bat. So that is of course why we are running three. Next, we are running also three copies of Senju of the Thousand Hands. What it basically uh, he does is uh, when this card is normal flip someone, you can add one ritual monster from your deck to your hand. So it basically searches your relinquish for you, which is incredibly essential for you to get into relinquish as soon as possible. And then next to round up the monsters, we are running three Sphere Karibos right here. And Sphere Kubo is an extremely powerful card right now in Speed Duels. It's literally the only hand trap that we have in the game format. And, you know, its effect is just incredibly uh, great when you can just really outplay your opponent, give them the surprise where they're totally unexpecting it with, as because the effect can be activated from your hand during your opponent's battle phase. So basically what it does is when your opponent wants to declare an attack, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and change that attacking monster to the advanced position. That what makes this card really, really great. But on its second effect, it's actually uh, combos really great with uh, ritual decks. So what it does is when you ritual summon, you can banish this card uh, from your graveyard as one of the monsters required for the ritual summon. So relinquish is only level one. Um, and in order to ritual summon it, you need to basically sacrifice or tribute a level one or higher monster. And Sphere Kuribo basically does that job for you immediately because usually Sphere Kuribo is not useful uh, as soon as you use this first part of effect you you change it to change your opponent's monster to defense you know for most decks they don't do anything afterwards but being able to you know bridge on and combo off from its second effect is just incredibly powerful so this basically rounds up the monsters and then we'll be moving on to the spells and for the spells we're actually actually only just playing um three and three of one kind basically black illusion ritual which is basically essential and you must have without a question to summon uh relinquished and it basically yeah allows you to summon relinquish it's the ritual spell for it and that basically rounds up for the spell so for the traps we're running a very heavy trap lineup and i'll explain further into um why the reason why because first of all we're running two kunai with chain which again uh, acts with like similar effect with uh sphere karibo and when your opponent's monsters declare an attack, target the attacking monster and change it to the defense position. And then you can target one uh, monster you control and equip that card to gain 500 attack. So really, really powerful as you put it onto Relinquish. And then second is Windstorm of Itaqua. And of course, you know, just to protect and just buy yourself some time. As you guys can probably see or probably uh, guess by now, um, if you notice, like this deck is heavily reliant on Relinquish. And as I mentioned earlier, you know, this deck is you want to that buy yourself as much time as possible so that you can draw into Relinquished and um, get into Relinquished or even get into Last Gamble to get yourself the card advantage and the board advantage from there on. And basically, you just want to protect yourself, protect your monsters, protect your life points, stall as much time until you can bring uh, Relinquished out once again, which is which then basically it starts where your comeback or your uh, return attack to your opponent comes. Same goes for uh, running two Mizuchuris right here as well. Uh, Michizuris, sorry. Just in case um, whenever you're relinquished or any of your monsters um, is sent from your field to the graveyard and you can just quickly pop your opponent's um, monster as well to make it uh, less um, costly for you when you lose relinquish by any ch chance and by all means in clutch situations. And then last but not least, we are running two Wild Tornadoes. And the reason for this is, once again, it combinates very well with Relinquish. Because you can target one face-up spell or trap card uh, on the field and destroy it. And um, you, this means that you can target your opponent's or even your own's. And you can target the um, equipped monster that is equipped to Relinquish, stolen from your opponent's. So you can basically destroy your own. And then if you uh, destroy the, uh, the monster that Relinquish is equipped to, and then you can actually retake your opponent's monster again if they have another monster on the board. This is the reason why uh, Wild Tornado is extremely, extremely great for this deck because you can just combo off so much with Relinquish itself. And its second part of its, its effect is then its control, it can set one spell or trap card from their hand, which is not uh, that important for the most part. But if the set card 
Um, if this set card itself is destroyed and sent to the graveyard, you can target one face-up card on the field and destroy that target. So, you know, just in case one of your opponents does destroy this card uh, because they, they're afraid of the back row or whatever, um, this, for example, if you're against a blue eyes deck, they're most likely to run Stamping Destruction, it can destroy this card. You can basically use this card effect to destroy them as well. But the main, main, main part of uh, having this card is that um, you, you can basically destroy your own relinquished equip monsters. So then you can always just take your opponents again, which is incredibly, incredibly powerful. So that basically rounds off all the traps. Once again, a very heavy trap lineup. We're running basically four different kinds of traps right here. But as I explained earlier, the reason why is because you want to stall time so that you can bring yourself time to get into last gamble or even just bring yourself the relinquished resources so i hope you guys uh, find this deck helpful and useful enjoyed this deck profile um again this is only my personal preference this is what i play tested and what works well for me i had the most fun out of this uh kind of ratio and combinations so you know just use my deck as a reference to to build into your own decks for you guys and um, yeah also comment down below what cards you guys would suggest to add or what kind of engine you would right like to run i know there's other um speed duelists or other speed duel players out there that they would run different engines into this relinquished deck and i really want to hear your suggestions if you have any definitely comment down below what cards would you add and what cards would you take out or what kind of special uh skill you guys prefer um, overall to, to play in this deck you know some guys might even prefer destiny draw so definitely comment on the comment section down below so once again it, thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video be sure to hit that like button give it a thumbs up support the evolve channel for more awesome and epic um, Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG speed tool and OCG product openings and speed tool content be sure to check that out as well so subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't welcome to the vault channel if you guys are new lots and lots of really cool content and yeah actually before i round this off i have to show you guys that this playmat that we were using throughout this is the official speed duel playmat right here with dark magician and blue eyes white dragon on on either side and this, yeah it's basically the official first speed duel playmat that came out i participated in our locals for a mini tournament and won this this is really amazing and it's rubber and cloth rubber cloth so it's not like the paper one that you get from the starter decks ones so this is absolutely just amazing. Really, really like it. Like, love the feel. I really hope Speed Duels uh, come out with even more um, playmats for us. I just really, really like it. Really, really amazing. Really love it. And yeah, just quickly just want to show you guys. So once again, thank you guys so much for watching. You guys have a great night, great day, great night, wherever you are. And this is the Vault signing out. <laughs>